Georgi Doja was a secly man-at-arms from Transylvania, Kingdom of Hungary who led a peasant's revolt against the kingdom's landed nobility. He was eventually caught, tortured, and executed along with his followers, and remembered as both a Christian martyr and a dangerous criminal. During the reign of King Vladislas II of Hungary, royal power declined in favor of the magnates who used their power to curtail the peasants' freedom. Outbreak of the Rebellion Dojar was born in Dalnok. During the wars against the Ottoman Empire, he was a soldier of fortune who won a reputation for valor. In 1514, the Hungarian Chancellor, Tamas Bakoc, returned from the Holy See with a papal bull issued by Leo X authorizing a crusade against the Ottomans. He appointed Dojar to organize and direct the movement. Within a few weeks, Dojar had gathered an army of some 40,000 so-called Hajdu, disambiguation needed, consisting for the most part of peasants, wandering students, friars, and parish priests, some of the lowest-ranking groups of medieval society. No measures had been taken to supply these voluntary crusaders with food or clothing. As harvest time approached, the landlords commanded them to return to reap the fields, and, on their refusing to do so, proceeded to maltreat their wives and families and set their armed retainers upon the local peasantry. The volunteers became increasingly angry at the failure of the nobility to provide military leadership the rebellious. Anti-landlord sentiment of these crusaders became apparent during their march across the Great Hungarian Plain, and Bakoc cancelled the campaign. The movement was thus diverted from its original object, and the peasants and their leaders began a war of vengeance against the landlords, growing rebellion. By this time, Dojar was losing control of the people under his command, who had fallen under the influence of the parson of CEGLE Acute D. Loring Messeros. The rebellion became more dangerous when the towns joined on the side of the peasants. In Buda and elsewhere, the cavalry sent against the Karuk were unhorsed as they passed through the gates. The rebellion spread quickly, principally in the central or purely Magyar provinces where hundreds of manor houses and castles were burnt and thousands of the gentry killed by impalement, crucifixion, and other methods. Dosis camp at CEGLE Acute D was the center of the jackery, as all raids in the surrounding area started out from there. In reaction, the papal bull was revoked, and King Vladislaus II issued a proclamation commanding the peasantry to return to their homes under pain of death. By this time, the rising had attained the dimensions of a revolution, all the vassals of the kingdom were called out against it, and soldiers of fortune were hired in haste from the Republic of Venice, Bohemia and the Holy Roman Empire. Meanwhile, Dojar had captured the city and fortress of CSANAD, and signalled his victory by impaling the bishop and the castellan. Subsequently, at Arad, Lord Treasurer Istvan Telegdi was seized and tortured to death. In general, however, the rebels only executed particularly vicious or greedy noblemen, those who freely submitted were released on parole. Dojar not only never broke his given word, but frequently assisted the escape of fugitives. He was unable to consistently control his followers, however, and many of them hunted down rivals downfall, execution. In the course of the summer, Dojar seized the fortresses of Arad, Lippa and Valagos, and provided himself with cannons and trained gunners. One of his bands advanced to within 25 kilometers of the capital, but his alarmed plowmen were outmatched by the heavy cavalry of the nobles. Dojar himself had apparently become demoralized by success. After CSANAD, he issued proclamations which can be described as millenarian. As his suppression had become a political necessity, Dojar was routed at Temesvar by an army of 20,000 led by John Zapolyar and Istvan Bathory. 
He was captured after the battle, and condemned to sit on a heated smoldering iron throne with a heated iron crown on his head and a heated scepter in his hand. While he was suffering in this way, a procession of nine fellow rebels, who had been starved beforehand, were led to this throne. In the lead was Doze's younger brother, Gurdjli, who was cut in three despite Dojar asking for Gurdjli to be spared. Next, executioners removed hot pliers from fire and forced him into Dose's skin. After pulling flesh from him, the remaining rebels were ordered to bite where the hot iron had been inserted and to swallow the flesh. Those who refused, about three or four, were simply cut up which prompted the remaining rebels to do as commanded. In the end, Doja died on the throne of iron from the damage that was inflicted while the rebels who obeyed were let go without further harm. The revolt was repressed but some 70,000 peasants were tortured, Georgi's execution, and the brutal suppression of the peasants greatly aided the 1526 Ottoman invasion as the Hungarians were no longer a politically united people. Another consequence was the creation of new laws, an effort in the Hungarian diet led by Istvan Werbocsi. The resulting tripartitum elaborated the doctrine of the Holy Crown but also greatly enhanced the status of nobility, erecting an iron curtain between Hungarians until 1848 when serfdom was abolished. Legacy Today, on the site of the martyrdom of the hot throne, there is the statue of the Virgin Mary, built by architect Laszlo Sekli and sculptor Georgi Kiss. According to the legend, during Georgidos's torture, some monks saw in his ear the image of Mary. The first statue was raised in 1865, with the actual monument raised in 1906. Hungarian opera composer Ferenc Circle wrote an opera, Doja Georgi, about him. His revolutionary image and Transylvanian background were drawn upon during the communist regime of Ge, Georg Hege Georg Udej. The Hungarian component of his movement was downplayed, but its strong anti-feudal character was emphasized. In Budapest, a square, a busy six-lane avenue, and a metro station bear his name, and it is one of the most popular street names in Hungarian villages. A number of streets in several cities of Romania were named Gahi or Kurdoja. Also, a number of streets in several cities of Serbia were named Ula Kadoza Dedo.